the God of awesome wonder. You are the Aripiti Arabata. You are the one that is called to inspire fire. You are our Lakwadaina. Father, be thou exalted. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, our pastors, and thank you, the Pastor Tunde Mami Shade. Thank you, Mary, for choosing me, Father. Mm. We appreciate all of you guys. Uh, today, uh, what theme or this week is such a time like this. And I'll be speaking about Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. The reading, the Bible reading is taken from the book of Luke 1 26, Luke 1 26. Uh, beloved brethren, take time at home and read this passage very powerful again it's Luke 136 Luke 126 to 35 because of time we're going straight to the word Mary is famously known as a virgin and we know a virgin is um, someone who basically is in a state of purity of inexperience traditionally a virgin is a person who has never had an, a sexual intercourse and we also know that Mary was favored uh, to favor someone is to show that you like that person, you approve that person more than others. But why Mary? This is a question that we had. There were a lot of virgins on those days. Number one, God knew he could count on Mary and rely on her. Number two, even though she asked questions, God knew Mary would accept the challenge. She made herself available is point number three. Because the Bible says in Luke 1 38, Mary responded, I am the, the Lord's servant. Number four, she listened and obeyed the angel instructions. It's found in Luke 30, uh, 1 38. Mary, may everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left. Number five, Mary had an attitude of praise, which is very important. And this is found in Luke 1, 46, 50. Luke 1, 46 to 50. Can God rely on you? Will you be highly favored when God comes looking for someone to send on the mission field? To the homeless, to Brookshire, to whatever uh, uh, God needs you to do. We all know we all want to be favored. Favor with a beautiful wife, favor with an awesome husband, favor with a nice car or, or, or a big house. But are you willing to be highly favored to go and do the work of God? I'm pretty sure Mary received lots of criticism, but she never looked back. One thing that comes to us most of the time is that what are people going to say about this? But Mary made herself available. And we can see here that um, she was needed at, like, at the time. She was needed when God wanted to save humanity, to save the lost. Just like you and I, we are needed to take the gospel to the lost. We are also needed, even during our situation, to comfort each other. Amen? We also know that Mary was in fear because the Bible tells us, the angel told her, fear not. Can you imagine the shame that Mary had to go through? Because she had never slept with a man. And we know one of, uh, a father, uh, one of our father told us here before that when a woman is pregnant, she does not even have to tell anybody because it will show. The shame, the criticism, all that, but Mary was there. One thing I mentioned here is the uh, spirit of praise, which is very crucial. And then on that, Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My brethren, we are all needed for such a time like this to go and rescue those who are lost. The angel also replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Church, we don't have to do this by ourselves. 
The Spirit of the Lord is here to help us in such a time like this. Pray so that the, the same way the Spirit of the Lord overshadow Mary, this, that same Spirit is available to overshadow all of us in such a time like this. Let's bow our heads and pray. Eternal King of glory, I thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for being chosen as at a, such a time like this, oh Lord, to help in this ministry, to save the soul, to go and rescue the, the lost. Father, help us and use us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.